Hello my beautiful Elflings, it's Nico and I have a tea taste testing today. It is Sunday. I am definitely trying to do this and make this a thing again. Not that tea drinking tea isn't a thing, I've just been very emotionally exhausted and taking care of myself has not been a priority. Like putting me first has not been a priority. Like I went all week without doing my own nails. I do my own nails but I get them done. and. It, it's, it was like a week and a half before I actually even painted my nails. I did this today and I'm very proud and it's a thermal and it changes from this very beautiful pinky red to like a black red. It's called Vampire Blood from uh, Hearts and Promises. Love them. Where is my... Hold on. It's right here. See? It's a thermal. It's from Hearts and Promises. Chrissy makes this and she is freaking amazing I love her polishes honestly I, I use rubbing alcohol all the time and it's the only polish that really stays on my fingernails I even use her top coat so tea taste testing this is white peach it is a white tea and it's going to steep for three to five minutes we're gonna do the whole five and it is white tea apricots natural peach flavor marigold flowers very simple. I'm hoping this is very nice because the apricot tea, from what I remember, I did not like it. It does not smell like peach candy. I will. It smells like dehydrated peaches. I was expecting more of a candy smell. It's not a bad smell. It just wasn't what I was expecting. And it's raining outside. All right, so that is my poor husband is texting me. I will answer him after I get done with this. So we got this. Um, I'm going to use this because it's what I have on me right now. Even though it leaves tippery and there's a piece of clay on it. Pac-Man shop. <laughs> this is not all staying in here, but I got a big. <laughs> ah, sometimes they amuse me. Oh, that's not enough now. Get in there. That looks like a good amount. So we got it in the steeper that my beautiful, close, sweet Margie lady friend gave me. We are still using this because the other one is still being used to hold my paintbrushes right now. And I have like three other containers of paintbrushes. It's just that one's holding a specific type of paintbrush. I'll get my life back in order-ish eventually. I don't think it'll ever happen, but I can pretend. All right, let's get that rainbow tea kettle. Dun, da, da, da. I love this tea kettle so freaking much. And I do have some milk in case we wanna try it as milk tea. We'll see. Oh, it smells, it smells soothing. Like it doesn't smell like, like peach or apricot, but it smells, it smells like fresh fruit, like in general, fresh fruit. All right, I will see you guys. Oh, let me put this down in five minutes. All right, it has been five minutes. It was a long five minutes. And there is tibri everywhere, but it is to be expected. It smells very nice. It does. It reminds me of the apricot tea. But it smells really nice. I want this to be nice. Please be nice. Oh no. I don't have. I'm just going to use my water cup to put this in. Ugh, big leaf pieces. I don't like tibri. It's very pretty. Like, I mean, it's just, it's a white, light 
pinky color, but that was leaves. Ugh. Do you see them? Do you see them floating? Ooh, it's okay. Please don't be too hot and please don't burn my tongue. Don't hate it. Oh, at the initial sip, it was a pretty big sip. It's kind of neutral. It's kind of like a neutral non-taste. And the scent is stronger than the taste. Like I kind of taste peach in the back of my uh, jaws. Jaws. Yeah. One on each side, jaws. Anyway, I can taste it in the back of, like, by my jaw. In the back, very back of my mouth. But it's not, there's not much of a taste. Leaf. I wonder if I can fish a couple of these out because I do not like wet leaf texture on my tongue, apparently. That's a no-no texture. All right, I got some in there. Just gonna... Oh, that was a big piece. Yeah, I'm taking out some tea at the same time, but mm, no. Ugh. Do not like leaf wet leaf also like I like I love the idea of dried seaweed and and like kale chips and stuff I cannot stand the texture <laughs> I just put that in my tea in my mouth so I can't dip it in my sugar it's okay I can just pour some sugar in it's very neutral like it's really really light it's not bad Honestly, it's kind of just glorified leaf water right now. Because it has a pretty color. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll tease leaf water. But this is pretty much glorified leaf water with just a bare minimum taste. We're going to sweeten it. We'll see. Oh, God. Try not to drop it. Don't drop it to Nico. I'm also working around some witchy hat sculptures so I'm taking it off it's so freaking cute and it fits his ears are facing the wrong way but it fits all of my wide mouth mugs oh it even kind of fits this <laughs> it's so cute hold on oh my goodness there's lily fur on it but it it fits over the mouth and doesn't fall in. I love it. I'm gonna have to order another one of those just because it's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna just pour in a bit of sugar to my glorified peachy-ish. It still has more flavor than the watermelon tea that I first started with and I was so excited for. And I'm probably never gonna forgive that tea because I want watermelon tea that tastes like freaking watermelon. I'd be happy if it tastes like watermelon candy, but it didn't taste like, like anything. And this has more flavor than that. It's not that hard to do. Okay. Elbow. Still weak. Gonna ooh, move you guys while I pull that out. It does smell very nice. Let's see if sweetening it will help. I got a leaf in my mouth. Tiny one. Ugh, leaves. Ah, I didn't put a lot of sugar in, but it hasn't enhanced the flavor. It usually does. I don't think honey would, like, help this very much. I don't think adding more sugar would help this either. 
maybe with milk. I'm not putting milk in it because it's all the way up here, but I will spend time and drink it. And when it gets to about halfway or lower, we'll, we might try it with some milk. Might also fish out a couple more of those little tibri. It's, it's still more flavor than the watermelon tea, but it's not like, this is great. It's not like, oh my god, this is peach. I think the peach bellini I had was really good. Peach bellini tea. <sighs> this makes me want to make a peach cobbler tea that actually tastes like peach. Yeah, it's like, it's like a non-taste. It's not bad. It's not. Definitely not bad. But it's like neutral. It's very neutral in flavor. It's very, there's no acidity, like no tannicy bitterness, which I appreciate. Um, but it's not, it's not amazing. It's not bad. I don't hate it. It's better than rose tea. How? It's better than, I hope you heard that. That was like my shoulder and my elbow popping at the same time. It's better than rose tea, but so I'm going to, I'm going to put this, well, I'm going to put this down and I'm going to put you guys down for a few minutes and I will drink this while I continue some of my work. And when I get lower in the, the tea cauldron, and maybe fish some of that tibri out or maybe it'll be lucky and it'll sink to the bottom um i'll try it with some milk and see if maybe a milk tea with this will be nice but i mean it's eh it's eh it's out of five stars like the five five star review system adachio has i would give this a three just because it's it's not awful but it's not really flavorful it's very neutral And there is that taste in the back of my mouth, but I mean, even, even the sugar I put in didn't really, it didn't enhance the flavor at all. It doesn't even taste, it's weird, it doesn't taste sweeter. Alright, so I'm going to work for a bit, and I will bring you back when I'm ready to put milk in. I'm back, and it's raining a little bit harder, and it makes me happy. I really love the rain. If you don't know, I freaking love the rain. I love the thunder rain. I love storms. I love thunder. I love lightning. I love rain. It's very soothing for me. <sighs> Especially up here in New England, because it's different than Florida, and last year nearly killed me. 20, 2020 was like a year without rain. I mean, there was, but it wasn't, it wasn't. It was few and far between. Very sparse rain. This year has been way better. Okay, I'm gonna add milk. I've, I've drunk it down. I added some more sugar to it. Still, it just, it just tastes like sugar water with, with like an apricot -y peach smell. I don't hate it. I really don't, but I'm not gonna get it again at all. Let me just get my recycling bag out of the way. didn't really like I'm just like what am I gonna do I need to open it I can't open it with my left hand my god oh okay I just did magic in my cup that's so pretty I love it when the milk just goes it's like clouds close fridge I still have to bring in I am not gone at all. I think I swallowed a piece of it too. It is very, you can see that. It It's very, uh, it's milk color. It's just the slightest tan-ish color to it. Go away leaves. not bad but it, I wouldn't want to add my boba pearls to it I mean it, it's better with milk to be honest it's better it's 
This is something I would think of giving, or of wanting or giving <laughs> me as a child if I had an upset tummy or I couldn't sleep. This is the way I would want warm milk to taste. It's nice. It's soothing. It's pleasant. It does, it, it, it's very neutral. It does not... Like, it has an aftertaste of, like, like a peach, but it's not a bam in your face flavor, which is fine. But honestly, like, if I was having, like, if I needed, like, warm milk to help me sleep or something, this is what I would want. It's nice, and I think I said I added some more sugar. Yeah, I said I added more sugar to it. It's fine. It's just not outstanding. I don't hate it. I'm probably going to pass it on to either my mother or one of my friends. <sighs> I'm sad. I wanted it to be amazing. I didn't necessarily want it to taste like candy. It is very natural. Very natural, um, not artificial candy taste, but it's very minute. Go away, Leaf. I do not like you. I can see it. It's gonna touch my tongue. Ah, another one came up and touched my tongue. It's, it's weird. I like. I don't have a lot of aversion to a lot of textures. Wet, slimy leaves do not like in my mouth. Do not. But, I mean, it, it's okay. I mean, it, I will never order this again. Um, I won't. But this would be a tea I would give to like a little kid, especially with some milk in it, like like a little play tea time. I would definitely do this because I think it's a very neutral thing. If I'm not mistaken, because I haven't looked it up, I think it's very low in caffeine. I, th I this would be like a playtime tea I would do with my nieces and nephew. This is what I would do. It's very neutral. I don't think they would hate it. I don't think that they would be like bouncing off the walls with caffeine afterwards. So. It's a good playtime tea, I think. I'm trying to look for positives, but yeah, honestly, I think this is a good playtime tea. And yes, I am holding my mug like this because my thumb is getting weak again, and it is. In fact, my hand is burst too. You can kind of see it. Don't know what happened. Don't know. But my thumb is getting weak, and it's not gripping things again. So I'm just making do with it. Anyway, that's that's my thoughts. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. If I had my nieces and nephew here, I would definitely order this for tea time. And we would make like cookies or tea cakes and little tea sandwiches, and this would be perfect. But for, for just me, it's not enough. It needs more muchness to it. I love you guys. Please stay happy, healthy, and safe. Keep warm. If you're in a cold place and stay cool if you're in a hot place, I love you guys very much and I will talk to you later. I hope you have a great week. Bye! Mwah.